Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Spy Family episode number 9 reaction. Okay, the previous episode we ended in one of the most weirdest cliffhangers that I've ever seen. Um, usually what happens in a cliffhanger, someone is in danger, bam, the episode ends and we are like, oh my god, we'll have to wait for one more week to see whether the person lives or dies. But this time here, what this anime did is they ended <laughs> when they were going to kiss. That was one of the one of the most unique ways to use a cliffhanger, I have to say. Um, either way, uh, the previous episode we actually meet Yuri, um, your bro uh, brother, and he is actually he also has a secret identity. He is part of the secret police, and which means that he is not happy with people who are like spies or like you know like these type of people who are working against the country um lloyd is one of them so he doesn't know about it he goes to their house and lloyd however is able to figure out very quickly by like you know asking some questions and you know seeing how he's answering them and the way like you know the, the whole scripted response that she he puts out lloyd was able to realize that he is probably in part of some kind of a secret organization most probably the secret police and uh, Yuri tried to make Lloyd slip up and you know by like trying to make him drunk but he doesn't get drunk so but while Yuri and Yor got drunk themselves <laughs> while Anna is sleeping and all of that like you know Yuri uh, brings up like a thing like oh if you're like you know married you know like kiss each other and uh, yeah that's what Lloyd was going to do and then, then the whole thing stopped my guess was Anya is going to come out and the whole thing will be stopped let's see if that is actually what happens let's get started then this is episode number nine so yeah I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go all right here we go Anya is going to come. I'm still betting on that. Let's see. <clears throat> Anya is going to be rubbing her eyes. She's going to come out. Let's see. <laughs> That's what you're thinking? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Whoa! He's like, all right, let's get drunk then. Damn. Oh no, I feel like she's going to. <laughs> wow, these two are crazy when they drink. Whoa. Yo, she, he's bleeding. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> um, all right, Anya. Anya is going to come out anytime. Let's see. Okay, please don't do that. They did the whole cliffhanger in the previous episode. Now they're starting with the opening. What? What, what is this? Double cliffhanger? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I still think somehow Anya is going to come out because that is one of the best ways to stop this whole thing. I doubt they're going to kiss because this is barely the start of the anime. If they actually do that, I'll really be surprised. So the only way I can see this going, Anya is going to come out. Let's see. Like that's how, you know, anime tropes work. <laughs> ah.
Okay, all right, let's see. <laughs> oh God. Show off how in love you are. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> Lloyd is like, all right. <laughs> oh God. Please, can we? <laughs> now he's getting into a flashback. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is a flashback he's having now. Wow. Okay, this is the flashback he's having now. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. Whoa, he's crying. All right. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Anya didn't come. Okay, now Anya is going to come. All right, there you go. <laughs> yep, that's what comes to my mind. Wait, she went to sleep. Okay, so Yuri stopped. I did say in the previous episode that either Anya is going to come or Yuri is going to stop it. I was correct in some way, I guess. How is he bleeding that much? She just slapped him. <laughs> All right, stop. What? Who says stuff like that? <laughs> oh my god, the bleed bleed. Ha how? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's one way to. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he's not coming anytime soon, I think. Yeah, she did not meet Anya, you know. Yo, he's. Yeah, all right. <sighs> um, okay, yeah, calm down. I know you're drunk, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, this was crazy. <laughs> Why <What? laughs> Yep, nice. Yeah. We need to be more careful. Oh she's over now, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Thank God there's no wiretaps. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs>
please say both. <laughs> the things that Anya says. Uh. Oh, well, he's reading Spy Wars? Okay. <laughs> Yep. Oh my god, is he... Is that Yuri? No. Yeah, that is... Oh my god. <laughs> He's sober now. <laughs> ah, there she is. Morning, please. What? <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like you know, hopefully next. <laughs> hopefully next time, like you know, Yuri comes like in the morning or something when when she's awake. Monkey. <laughs> Oh my god, she knows that! <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, she doesn't know what a secret police is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> he wants to meet Anki. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh no no no. Suspect everything. Oh boy. Oh yeah, she can't even say. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh she made it today. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, she, he's hesitating. Oh my god. Yeah. Come on, Anya, you can... I hope... She, I think she, he's, she's going to do something here. Like, if this actually ends up happening, he's going to know she's an assassin. <laughs> Oh my god. Yep, Anya's hearing everything. Oh my god, look at Anya. Ah, this is bad. Family's breaking apart, Anya. <laughs> you need to do something. I think she's the only one who can do something at this point. Like, like these two are too cautious against each other. There you go. There you go. Oh my god, that's another. <laughs> oh my god. Well. What? Oh my god, this guy is. Wait, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Huh. 
Oh yeah, the, that guy, the guy who was... <laughs> yeah? You're right, I guess. Oh yeah, he forgot, because he was drunk. So he did plan on putting. Okay. Oh boy, well. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, Lloyd is actually hearing this. This is like the bug in her collar. There you go. Hopefully this clears everything up. Okay. Well. Okay, Lloyd, calm down. Ah. Oh. All right, this girl. What the hell? She's. Yeah. <laughs> She's using her as her errand person. Wow. Oh no, maybe that's part of a job. I'm sorry. Maybe that is also part of a job. Yeah. Open a joint bank account. Oh. Well. She's an assassin, so. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, it's a SP. Wait, isn't this that the same guy? Yuri's superior? Wait. Oh my god, it's, it took me a while to understand what the hell was going on. It's Lloyd and Frankie. Oh god. Alright, Frankie. He's he's getting too much into it. Uh, yeah. Damn. Lloyd is very good at impersonating someone. Frankie, Frankie, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck. 
Frankie. Yeah, you're getting too much into it. Yeah, that's an SP apparently. Yep. All right, let's pack up and go home. Okay, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> what hemorrhoid <Hammer> doctor <laughs> wow that's the okay hmm. yeah <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly, Frankie. <laughs> Damn, I feel bad for her at this point, like... Uh, uh. Oh my god. Yeah, true. Hmm. Hmm. Well, look who's talking. <laughs> well. I'm pretty sure he is, like in a little bit. Because yeah at the end of the day he realized that ah oh. <laughs> one year oh yeah okay Anya's back <laughs> Ah, trying to read the mind. Everything's okay. <laughs> you liar. Not liar, but yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right, that was a that was an interesting episode, and as we can see. I think I said this in one of the previous episodes as well. Unless and until Lloyd is able to properly trust Yor and Anya. Like especially Yor. Like the whole thing about mission family, you know, like fake family, that thing is going to continue. 
and since he is accustomed to as we saw in this episode frankly saying like don't trust anyone you know like we are spies we are supposed to suspect each and every people honestly until that whole thing little bit you know like at least in case of your and anya reduces i am talking about only your and anya like you know like other people he can suspect as much as he wants to like obviously like any every person suspects if suddenly a stranger comes up to you and starts talking to you nicely <laughs> that's the type of world we live in now so that's fine but since this is your and anya we're talking about at least for them you know like as soon as he gets a little bit of trust and he gets accustomed to this everything will go a lot more smoother and better like i know he's doing this for the mission but i'm sure a day will come then when he is not going to do it only for the mission but for the family you know and genuinely you know do stuff for only the family's sake not the mission's sake and that will come but it's it's going to take a little bit of time because uh, lloyd is accustomed to all of this he's a spy so you know like he has been <clears throat> taught from the very young age most probably to as frankly said trust no one you know like only believe in yourself and do your mission you know do it for the country that type of thing so yeah okay and one thing is kind of interesting to see the whole dynamic that since your like you know had uh, yuri and their family from the beginning you know she is a lot better like you know used to talking with not talking but like you know trusting family members at least and kind of you know like putting her faith on them believing them you know even though she is an assassin the whole familial thing the familial trust and bond she can put a lot more faith in her family which is anya and lloyd now you know just because from the childhood she has been accustomed by living with alongside yuri because both were family while at the same time lloyd he's not used to this actually you know like he has always been alone and everything never had any kind of a family as he explained so <clears throat> him trying to become a person like a family person is a lot difficult and you know like he's if then your who is able to do this like you know kind of put his, her trust in lloyd and anya a lot more because yeah she 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 has been accustomed to being like a what can i say like a elder like like a mother figure she she was a mother figure for yuri so for that she's more accustomed while lloyd this is extremely new for him you know he's just like you know one day he just got a letter get a family you know for the for the job <laughs> he just decided to you know like get married and that's that's it that's where everything started and it's barely the start so yeah now i feel like the whole thing with anya at least he is kind of emotionally attached to her you you saw the whole section of um you know that part where he punched the table you know with the the, the whole like school thing that happened and uh, that kind of shows that he is a lot more accustomed to anya and like a lot more attached probably because she's a child you know but in case of your He he kind of suspects you a little bit as as he says today like I kind of suspect her now because his her brother is part of the SP so she started suspecting you and as they say you know adults have a lot more hidden things you know, they hide a lot of stuff they are a lot you know more can easily lie a lot more and everything that's why the trust in you kind of was a little bit less today in this episode. as soon as he got to know that his her brother is part of the sp unlike anya who is just a kid and he he was able to tr- put his trust in anya and get more emotionally attached to anya a lot more than he is with your he's a lot more comfortable with anya than with your 
which as they live together as they spend time together which is definitely going to reduce little by little and uh, I, anyways um okay we begin this episode with <laughs> with, the, with the start from the, the cliffhanger section and yuri's like yeah kiss each other and <laughs> at first yuri just said that and yuri was like <laughs> when when you're drunk you know like you're drunk the wine and he she was like all right i need to get drunk to do this she gets drunk and tries to <laughs> that's when <laughs> yuri's like wait no i don't want that <laughs> and she starts trying to like you know like he he almost starts crying and starts tries to stop them <laughs> you just throws like a fork towards him <laughs> which scratches his cheeks and like you know, he starts bleeding oh my god and then <clears throat> now i was saying that like you know anya is going to come and interrupt them like i think in the previous episode i said either anya is going to interrupt them or yuri himself is going to interrupt them and my more emphasis was on the fact that anya is going to come out you know i kind of i think i said like 70 percent chance of anya coming out 30 percent chance of uh, yuri stopping this himself Turns out the latter one, which I said 30% chance, is the one that actually happened. Anya did not wake up at all. Which is a bit surprising because I feel like this scene was perfect for Anya to suddenly come out. You know, just rubbing her eyes and be like, oh, mother, father, what are you doing? Something like that. And they would get interrupted. That was like I had a bigger possibility of happening. But yeah, I guess Yuri stopped them. Now, at that moment, you know, when... <laughs> You start suddenly gets like a flashback of, <laughs> of of your and him like you know in, in the in the childhood in the childhood and he starts crying and he's like no I cannot let this happen you know stop sister and as he started screaming I think your kind of snapped out of it a little bit and she's like wait a minute what am I doing I cannot do this. And she's like, no, I cannot do this. And tries to slap Lloyd. But Yuri comes in in the middle. Slaps Yuri. And then, yeah. <laughs> Anya wakes up. Anya's like, what happened? <laughs> Is the world in danger or something? She goes to sleep again. <laughs> oh my god. I, I love how Anya uh, slapped him. And he started bleeding throughout his whole face. Like, you know, like cuts everywhere. And it's like bleeding. Like, my god. <laughs> and yeah like this this is a crazy family and again like you know he, he says something weird again like you know he's, i think he says something like oh you can claim what did he say you have to claim on my sister's lips now something like that he said <laughs> you slapped him again <laughs> and oh my god <laughs> Both are drunk and both are just just crazy and uh, <laughs> Here as we can see like, you know Lloyd as Lloyd says later on like I'm a little bit envious because I never had a family like this You know uh, you, uh, What's the name? Anya. Anya is my only family which also in reality is not that case but as he says like, you know, like this is the first time I actually felt envious of your like kind of like this sibling relationship because I never had any of that before. Any type of familial relationship. Nothing. I have no, nothing like that. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so uh, Lloyd was like, all right, like, you know, you will come back anytime, you know, like next time come when my daughter's awake, you know, and you just like, yeah, I'm going to come back. And it's just <laughs> starts screaming outside, just running away. <laughs> and I love how Lloyd checked that is there any wire taps and just because he was drunk he didn't put any wire taps so just in case he checked everything and uh, here we go here's where he says that I'm a little bit envious of you too because you know like the only person as a family I have is my daughter which in his mind he's also thinking that that in itself is also a lie so it was like as he said like and I was kind of envious seeing like, you know, like, like an actual family bond in front of my eyes, which I never got. And yeah, then they go to sleep. Okay, the next day, Anya is awake. Anya has completely forgotten what the hell happened previous night. She's like, what's happening? And 
<laughs> your is like <laughs> your is like oh you uh, we went to sleep yesterday you were so excited to meet you know like yuri <laughs> and i was like who is that <laughs> i i really like that they like you know, this is actually what happens as far as i remember like you know no for children like you know like whatever happened the previous day as soon as they go to sleep and they wake up they like forget most of the things <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while for it to come back and uh, yeah like you know like children i think like children live in the moment so much you know like they, they just live in the moment and uh, yeah like for example they just fall down start crying and then suddenly it stops crying if they see something else and like that's how intense the whole mood shifts are for children and uh, that's because they live in the moment so much and that's that's just that's really good you know like living in the moment <laughs> so <laughs> anyways anya is like who is that <laughs> and then later on when he comes out and he she kind of listens to lloyd's ma memory mind she realizes that he's talking about anki he's like oh yeah like someone was supposed to come yesterday like, why didn't you wake me up and starts throwing a tran tantrum <laughs> oh my god and like, you know what? <laughs> I feel bad for saying this, but when they were eating, you know, I saw like, you know, the, the, the little dish with the fish and everything, like the, the fish bones that was away, like on there, a little bit of food was still there. I thought like, wait a minute, why does the food look like this? I'm like, the food seems a little bit weird. But I, I, I kind of like, you know, brushed it aside. I was like, yeah, maybe that's just how the food looks like, you know. <laughs> when Yan, Ayur said that today I have actually cooked, I was like, oh my god, that's why I thought the food looked a little bit weird. It doesn't look the same as Lloyd makes. That's why I'm saying I feel bad for saying this because you, like, you know, Anya, uh, Yor also knows herself that she cannot properly cook and she's trying her best to do it but she's still not there and uh, by the looks of it you know she's so diligent in each and everything that she does my guess is that she'll most definitely in the near future will be able to cook properly as she keeps practicing and everything <clears throat> so okay now here we see how Lloyd starts thinking about you know like has like you know like is everything really fine the way it is he realizes that um, he's like, you know, you is part of the SP. So now the suspicion kind of a little bit of suspicion falls on Yor and he's thinking like, did she tell me everything correctly? From the looks of it, it does seem she had no clue. She has no clue that you is part of the SP. But this is Lloyd we're talking about. He cannot like, you know, he just cannot put, uh, what can I say? Like, you know, like put his, um, you know, become calm and he, as long as she he doesn't have any proof you know he cannot just calm down so obviously the spy the whole spy thing is kicking in you know like never trust anyone that type of a situation and you know like so Anya is listening to everything now Anya is like wait a minute what is happening you know why is you know father saying something like that and when when like you know Lloyd was thinking about it Anya was like, Dad, like, like, you know, mom is actually, is going to say, like, you know, actually a good person or something like that. Then she, she realized that I cannot say that because, you know, like, I'm, like, my ability is supposed to be a secret and they won't even believe me. She says, like, mother is bad at cooking. <laughs> that was the worst thing you could do at that moment. <laughs> and that whole situation, like, Yuri is like, Yuri is like, just one of the most biggest shock. She's like, I tried my best. <laughs> oh my god, that's sad. But yeah, obviously, like, you know, Anya's not happy with this because I feel like this whole keeping secrets and everything, you know, this whole thing. She she has seen. I'm I'm pretty sure she has seen a lot of people just mistrusting and not trusting, putting their faith in the others because she, all the time she can listen to people's thoughts, you know. So I'm very sure that she came across, across multiple situations where stuff like this happened, where she just was able to peek into the ugliness of human heart, 
how people are not easily able to trust others and how they always suspect uh, uh, anyone else how people have bad intentions within them so all these like you know bad emotions and all these like you know emotions anya has seen a lot because she always hears them so seeing lloyd who is her dad and you uh you who is her mom like you know that both of them kind of feel bad and like you know keeping something within them made anya sad here i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm like you know, i'm i'm quite sure as we know like you know in, in the even in the school he, she said like you know she gives full points to both her, her parents so she's re she really loves them so much so seeing them not trust each other it's a very bad feeling you know and uh, yeah and she's a child so anyways and this kind of goes a little bit like you know towards the wrong direction where lloyd starts like you know thinking about wiretapping her like you know she, he's like all right let's do this i need to be confirmed whether she actually knows about yuri or not what he does and i don't blame lloyd here because obviously lloyd is needs to be more like you know like careful about this and since he's a spy and everything and like you know as he says as he's in his mind mission comes first he needs to do everything to know and to see where the threats are so as long as this whole conf this thing does not get cleared up if your knows whether jury is part of the sp or not as long as that is not cleared up lloyd won't be able to rest easy so it was like oh like there's something in your collar put the wire tap there and uh, <laughs> and, and or you're obviously your you kind know, of thinks that oh like you know is he trying to kiss me or something and then she starts like you know thinking about the previous night and she th thinks how she is not good as a wife you know she cannot cook she cannot even do anything properly the previous night as well like you know she was almost going to slap lloyd so all those negative emotions start piling upon her while all this were happening while at the same time lloyd was like you know suspecting your in her mind anya was listening to each and every one of those things and as anya comes out anya is like you two you two get well okay you know get along okay <laughs> like obviously like they kind of thought um lloyd and what's his name um not lloyd sorry uh, yeah lloyd lloyd and your they th they're like ah kids they have good intuitions but yeah now we get to see yuri now later on and and as we see like you know yuri is getting oh my god yuri's locker is filled with your pictures god damn this guy either anyways uh, that that guy the superior the, uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if he's his superior or something the guy with the two scars you know he comes and he talks about what happened the previous day what did he meet the husband or something all that and like you know we can see how yuri is like yeah i meet met him and I, I don't trust that guy and he starts talking about all of that and then the guy's like so why like you know, isn't he an okay person what what happened Do you suspect him or something is he a bad person and yuri's like no he is a good person and he, 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 he seems nice but i don't trust him <laughs> Oh god. Anyways, um now he he says how he forgot to wiretap that because he was drunk. And also like you know the, the, that guy says like oh like you know you should try to like you know distance yourself from your sister because the job that you do is very a dangerous job so you should not you know mix your sister in with this whole scenario situation. Make your sister like you know life safer. We are actually doing this for our loved ones. We're doing this job so that they can be safe. So, yeah. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is I love. I really love the fact that um, you, you when like you know Lloyd kind of included your in, uh, Yuri into their family and said like, oh, like you know, both of us are going to make uh, um, your happy from here onwards. And I feel like at that moment, you like, know, that was like the dis like you know that that moment that when uh, yuri probably decided to put his trust in lloyd you know a little bit he did. i'm sure he doesn't trust him fully but a little bit trust he decided to put on him because you know like lloyd himself said that yeah like you've been protecting him for 
or from for the, from up until now now let both of us do it like i'm pretty sure that probably made like you know your uh, not your sorry yuri happy because however you look at this whole situation it is true you know that yuri's and uh, like you know yuri and your they were family up until now and like you know both of them like had each other only so suddenly like your gets a husband and i'm pretty I'm, i'm quite sure yuri is probably feeling lonely and like you know left out so lloyd actually saying that to him i'm sure that made him happy she he probably thought that yeah like i'm i'm i'm, I'm still a part of this and uh, yeah something along those lines anyways um now we are back to yours uh, office you know and here we see her you're talking to the, his co- her co-workers and about you know uh, how he messed like you know the whole situation why he's sad and she's sad and everything and uh, lloyd is like listening to them and <laughs> i love the fact that lloyd is like like oh these people like you know the, the girl who was like you know again like saying bad stuff like you know the, like <laughs> your score workers there's they're not good <laughs> lloyd said that actually this probably thinking anyways um now then the section chief comes out and he's like oh you like you know your like you know put this in the post office now i was going to say like is he like making her do his own errors personal errors but i'm not so sure what like you know it, it, like does this fall like you know, fall in part of a job like you know is this like part of a job like doing whatever the chief says or something i'm not so sure so i cannot like, comment anything upon this but as far as i know like i think this is like supposed to be one of her his personal works isn't it like posting a mail so what he's actually doing here is making his employees run his personal errands so i think that's supposed to be not how it goes like you know i'm i'm not sure i like i i i'm, I'm like you know i'm i'm really not sure about this so i i i, I would refrain from commenting on this anyways um so now your is like you know outside and uh, suddenly your meets that guy the two scarred guy and another random dude and i was like wait a minute it's the same guy isn't it and this part i was like very confused for a few seconds you know when they started showing how lloyd is putting on the mask and frank is also there i was like wait what is happening here and then it struck i was like okay so it's actually them these two are in disguise now so you know what one thing that i think here which which might become a potential problem in the future lloyd decided to take the face of that guy the guy who's like with always with yuri that guy with two scars that's the disguise that he wore today in the future i really hope that that guy and yuri like you know your doesn't meet those two at the same place like you know like yuri is like you know yuri's co-worker is this guy so i'm pretty sure like you know sometimes in the future maybe like you know they'll be together and your might bump into them and your will be like oh my god you there you look like the person who stalked me the previous you know like uh, not previous but one one of those dates i think that's going to happen that might happen which will become a huge problem because yuri will be like wait what and the guy will be like no i didn't do anything like that and that might become a thing you know so i don't know like you know like i feel like there's like a potential way this could go that's a potential way it might become a problem in the future anyways either way um lloyd and frankie is here and frankie was just getting too much into this whole bad cop good cop thing i think that's what you call this you know like one person acts extra tough well the other person acts a lot nicer you know <laughs> like that's like i guess that's like a way of interrogation like you know always is like a bad cop and there's like a good cop <laughs> anyways so frank is like all like you know just getting too much into it while lloyd is just like you know has taken the the letter and he starts talking about how this might be like a cipher like a code you know like you might be a spy all that stuff and here lloyd according to lloyd's like you know head lloyd is thinking that if if you know like she knows that yuri is part of the sp she's going to see us wearing the sp dress and she 
is like you know if she realizes that they're in she's in big trouble she might say something like oh you guys are from the sp my brother also works there so if you call him or like you know ask him you'll be able to get the confirmation that i'm not someone bad you know like i'm i'm a good person that was going to happen like i think that's what like that's definitely what lloyd tried to do here because these two random sps suddenly coming and interrogating her you know like she could easily say that oh my brother is part of your organization you can just call him and get your confirmation you know if she knew that her brother works for the sp so that's what lloyd tried to do here which was honestly speaking a good plan you know that was a really good plan like you know like and this kind of showed us that you you really did not know that his her brother you know like works for the sp and frankly tried to be, go a bit too far like he just <laughs> almost like you know twisted his arm and uh, in the end he, he she says that what did she say my younger brother and husband are both kind and upstanding members of the society if you ever unjustly harm either of them um I frankly do not care if I am dealing with you too. Yeah. So there you go. She kind of threatens them, and she's like, "Yeah, I won't forgive you." So there you go. That shows that she has no idea his brother is part. Her brother is part of the SP, and Lloyd got her con his confirmation. And uh, you know, then Lloyd is like, "All right, I should stop this now." And she he starts talking about the. Like the caterpillar cipher and like all that the raccoon cipher the caterpillar cipher all these things <laughs> talks about how the section chief has hemorrhoids that's why he did like did it like this <laughs> oh my god that was a good excuse anyways so yeah your goes on her way and uh, lloyd is just there frankie kind of reminds lloyd again that don't get too attached you know like don't trust anyone if you value your life we are in a spy job so yeah you should like, you know, not trust anybody except yourself. So, and he's kind of, like, you know, gives him the, that kind of a reminder. And Lloyd is, you know, doesn't say anything. Now, we're going back. Yor is there. Lloyd also meets her in the intersection. And takes out the white tap, you know. And here we can see how Yor is so sad. Yor is like, I can't do anything properly. You know, like, my whole day is just bad went bad and I, I feel like i'm not fit enough to become a proper wife and uh, i love how lloyd explains this situation he says that if you ask me just a sec um yeah everyone's like acting like all the families in the world are somehow acting in some way uh, a wife should be like this or you're supposed to be the parent or of course I believe that working hard to be your best self is admirable but if you dwell on that so much that you lose yourself things that should go well might fall apart there you go which is such a good nice little section where he says that obviously we have our own duties there is certain ways we should do stuff you know as a parent you know there's certain way we should act in front of our children you know, as a wife or a husband there's a certain way we must act in front of our spouse everyone acts in some way or the other and at some point they always restrain themselves in acting their usual selves just because they are part of in a position you know as a teacher you know like you should not like in a, like in a teacher in a school you should not like you know kind of what do, what do you call that prefer or favoritize a certain student you know like even if you like you know like we are humans there are certain people we like more than certain people that similar things has to happens to teachers as well but as a teacher they stop themselves from doing that by preferring someone other like than, than the others and uh, that's how they put like a thing like a uh, like you know like a uh, like a stopper in front of them like a husband like you know like you should do he like you know, he can he also stops himself from doing certain things as a wife same thing happens as a parent same thing happens you know so lloyd says that that's all well and good you know but at certain times you know like we should not act our part so much that it actually breaks us apart that is wrong what yod is trying to do here is she's always trying to think what an ideal wife is cooking doing this 
doing that becoming more prim and proper you know like these type of preconceived like you know things and are just there like you know and she's she's trying to become that person so much that she herself is actually suffering at some like you know, at, at, at a certain like you know part so lawyer is saying that yeah as far as you can do do it if you can't do something it's fine you know no need to like you know break yourself apart to try to act that part you know and uh, yeah she like obviously lloyd is not saying that oh you don't have to be like that he's not saying that he's saying that you try to do it it's fine if you cannot that's also fine it's okay you be yourself you know like you do what you like to do and uh, you know like you don't have to try so much that at, it actually starts affecting you as a person putting on an act all the time can become tiring there you go that's what he says and uh, what it says the more confident uh, the more confident you seem the less people will suspect anything and i'm sure anya will be happier seeing you smile so there you go that's perfect and i feel like lloyd also needs to kind of stop like you know like i'm, I'm sure that will happen in the future you know kind of get more settled down like you know as a father like but at the same time you know he is a spy you know so i i do realize what are like you know if he actually keeps his becomes like you know kind of lowers her his guard like, you know in his actual job spy job it will be quite dangerous but that's what i was actually saying you know in the previous portion that he he needs to lower his guard in front of his family for the other people is fine you're a spy suspect everyone and like you know everything so to get to that part where he can actually trust your and uh, Anya completely he needs to spend a little bit more time with them which I'm sure is going to happen like and as they keep interacting as a family as more character development happens I'm sure Lloyd will become like you know be more trustful of your like today's episode was one step in the right direction at least because Lloyd knows that ah like you know she was telling the truth she really doesn't know what Yuri does so you know like he he's, he has got his confirmation that Jor is truthful. He's she's not trying to trick him, you know. That's why I'm saying it's a step in the positive direction. So because today's episode, like you know, kind of increased Lloyd's trust for Yor a little bit, you know, which is going to keep increasing little by little as he keeps spending time with them, and at the end she'll fully he'll probably fully trust her. So yeah, and. As we can see, you know, when Yuri, uh, like, you know, like, as Lloyd says that, uh, Yuri is like, I'm truly grateful that I married you, Lloyd. And <laughs> Lloyd was kind of blushing a little bit. And, uh, yeah, like, especially after this whole scene, like, you know, when he kind of throws away the wiretap, and Yuri is like, what are, did you throw away? And he's like, ah, it's just a lint. You know? Yeah, it's pretty apparent that he is feeling gu guilty now. He definitely is feeling guilty because he mistrusted the person who trusts him so much that's the that's the what can i say like the part that probably hurts him the most you know he mistrusted someone that's okay you know but he actually mistrusted someone who has so much trust for him that's the part that hurts so much more you know your wholeheartedly trusts lloyd which like you know which we can see in the end and your lloyd himself realizes that so trusting that person and mistrusting that person and getting proven wrong that would definitely hurt him and yeah i'm I'm pretty sure lloyd gained a lot of trust for your today after this episode and as a confirmation we can see when anya comes back anya is like oh father mother you are you're getting along now <laughs> and yeah and they're like oh we have cake their anniversary is happening or whatever the, the fake anniversary so yeah <laughs> and that's where it ends nice episode good character development um yeah so that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to spy family episode number nine so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it guys thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of Spy Family. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.